Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be talking about the pros and cons of the new Bedwars update. Also, this will be my first fully edited video on my laptop, so like and comment if you want to see more of these videos but without further ado, let's jump right into this video. So as you all know, Bedwars released their new season a few days ago. And many people love the new updates that come with it, but others have mixed feelings about things in Season 8 like Bedwars releasing kits that are pretty bad, fairness to others, and even more. So today I'm going to be listing the top 10 pros and cons for Season 8 and explain why some new features are good and why some are complete trash lol. But anyways, let's get to pro and con one. So, for Bedwars new update, they added new weapons to the item shop that are very up, but you have to get points by breaking beds, ping, and staying in the game for a long time without losing which is good because of how now it's harder to get these up items like crossbows, headhunters, and these new weapons which helps prevent people getting them too fast and then destroying the whole server. However, this does make it harder for new players to get better items because of how in order to get these items, you have to be good at fighting back to stay alive which is not something that a new player can do. This also creates a problem with building their community and bringing more traction to the game since new players get less of an advantage in matches, which causes them to leave the game and give negative reviews. And yeah, time to move on to Pro 2 and then Con 3. As you guys know, one of Roblox Bedwars core changes was that they switch players' health from 100 to 150 and can be raised even more with Forge upgrades. This is good because it can increase strategic depth in combat, meaning that the health increase can introduce other strategies and on top of that, players will have a better chance to run away from enemies and survive. However, this could ruin some kits like Elder Tree, since the point of Elder Tree is to get additional health and with many people getting that feature for free, it kind of just ruins the whole kit. Also, another core change that Roblox Bedwars made was to add a health bar on top of players. This is good because adding a health bar on top of players can provide players with valuable information about their enemy's health and if they are low enough to be destroyed. A con to adding a health bar would be that it can be a distraction to some. This is because players would have to assess their opponent's health bar if they are fighting and could lose awareness of where they are, or if an enemy is close to them without realization of that. Our last pro of this new update would be that points for the forge aren't dropped at a generator since that would give tons of people unfair advantages, but yeah. Comment down below what your thoughts about Season 8 is and that's about it. Stay happy and epic and see you next time.